How do you heal a nation? What do you do when it seems that no matter what you do, failure is the result? What do you do when a government has lost its ability to take care of its people? What do you do when the wickedness of a city is so visible and the effects and the consequences of that evil begins to choke the very life out of a nation and almost spit the people out. What do you do when you find yourself in that situation? This is an extremely important question because ultimately what we are seeing in this Haitian earthquake crisis is very similar to what we saw in 2008 during the hurricane crisis where those hurricanes, some of them almost reversed and hit the nation more than once where many lives were lost. What we are experiencing in these last days are the birth pains. These are the things that the Lord Jesus said would come to pass. He said that there would be earthquakes in various places and he declared that these were just the beginning of sorrows. Well before his great day and the day of his return, what do we do between now and then? Do we send UN aid? Do we build up a country's infrastructure and put money into it? Do we send celebrities to bring notice to a desperate situation? These things they help on a temporary basis but how do you heal a nation how do you prevent from bandaging a wound that goes much deeper than the surface the word of God says in second chronicles 7 13 that if God begins to close heaven if he begins to allow natural disasters if he begins to allow disease then in verse 14 he says if the people that belong to him and who are called by his name will humble themselves meaning if they surrender their lives if they acknowledge their weaknesses their transgressions their sins if they humble themselves and if they pray and if they look for God's will if they look for God's delight then he and and of course if they turn from their wicked ways if they turn from oppression if they turn from witchcraft if they turn from destruction if they turn from their wicked ways then God will hear from his throne room in heaven and then he will forgive the sins of the people and he will heal the land and that is exactly how he promises to do it he promises to to heal us not by way of presidential aid, not by way of building an economy, not by way of putting money into a system, but by healing. This situation just exposes a, a major, deeply rooted issue, and that is we are a cursed people. Whether we be Haitian or American or whether we be from any of the nations on the planet, and that curse it's evidenced in a variety of ways. So how do we get healing? First we have to acknowledge our sins. And secondly we have to acknowledge our remedy. The Word of God says that Jesus was wounded for the transgressions, for the sins of the people in the earth. He was bruised for our, our iniquities, the things that we did, the, the corruption, the, uh, the punishment that was coming to us was laid upon Jesus and that with his stripes with each lash that he took we can be healed Daniel chapter 9 presents to us a powerful format and we're gonna pray for the nation of Haiti by way of that format so that God can turn away his wrath so if you're watching this with me I invite you to pray with us for God to bring transformation in that country and I'm going to take this prayer based on Daniel chapter 9. Father God, we have sinned. We've sinned against you. We have transgressed your covenant. We've broken your laws. We've walked in idolatry. We've walked in hypocrisy. We've walked in wickedness and we've walked in oppression. We've walked in murder and lies and deception. And we've loved the things that you've hated. We've 
delighted in rebellion and we've cast off your authority we've rejected the vo the voice of the Lord by way of the pastors and the preachers and the prophets and we ask for your forgiveness right now father God that you would sanctify and cleanse our lives father draw us to repentance by way of calamity help us to remember that there is nothing for us in this life help us to re to realize that this life was given to us as a means of our pleasing you as a means of our surrendering it to you as a means of you demonstrating your love through us we acknowledge that you're the one who has power over the air over the sea over the land Lord nothing is too hard for you healing a country healing a people Lord turning our hearts from darkness to light is completely within your reach it's completely within your grasp Lord, we humble ourselves and I pray that you would allow everybody in this, in this time frame, God, those who are watching this, to humble themselves, be they American, be they African, be they European, be they Haitian. God, that we would all humble ourselves and that we would seek you collectively and understand that there is no salvation in another. There is no salvation in political strength or in economical development or advancement lord god that no matter what nation we're in be it a strong one or a weak one a rich one or a poor one that all of us will be judged according to our works and your wrath will come upon those who hide the truth in unrighteous behavior father forgive our parents and our ancestors those who walked in idolatry and witchcraft and voodoo and capitalism and the destruction of other people those who walked in the oppression of the poor and the and the deliberate destroying of smaller societies father we have all sinned in this way we walked in sexual perversion and in murder and in theft and in lies and in hypocrisy we are all guilty lord jesus and I pray that you would pour out your spirit and grant us the grace and the mercy of God that brings us to health and to full healing. You said if we humble ourselves and pray, you said if we turn from our wicked ways, you said if we call upon and acknowledge the name of Jesus Christ, that we can be healed and we beg you for your mercy, that you will pour out your precious blood and cleanse us from our sins that our nation would be delivered from the curse and that you might reap the blessing of God which is upon all of those who fear him lead us in righteousness and cast down every demon spirit governing our country so that we might be delivered and free to worship you and I pray you cast off false religion and cast off all manner of hatred for one another and jealousy and corruption in government God lest you die in this condition Lord bring healing to the hearts of those who have lost family Lord Jesus remind them that you are their comforter and you are their place of refuge in the day of trouble Father I pray that you would be the aid in the day of homelessness and, in, and God in the day of destitute destitution bring salvation Lord Jesus and validate that it's your love and your mercy that delivers us and it's your anointing that breaks the yoke grant us the grace to pray without stopping concerning these matters in the name of Jesus Christ we pray.